Hello nursing students, you are watching Scientific Medical Nurseologist YouTube channel. Today's video is for BAC nursing first year students. So let's start the video. So friends, let's discuss the syllabus and blueprint of anatomy subject first to get briefly idea about major topics to study, chapter wise important questions and weightage of marks per unit of the syllabus. There are 11 units in the anatomy subject of BAC nursing which includes unit 1 introduction to the basic concept of anatomy unit 2 skeletal system unit 3 muscular system unit 4 nervous system unit 5 sensory system unit 6 cardiologist and lymphatic system unit 7 respiratory system unit 8 digestive system unit 9 excretory system unit 10 endocrine system unit 11 reproductive system with breast so now let's discuss the each unit briefly that which unit carries most marks and major topics to study in all the unit of the syllabus. So our first unit is introduction to the basic concept of anatomy which consists of three chapters cell, tissue, organization of the body where cell chapter carries seven marks in which one question comes for five marks and another question for and another question for two marks. It is not necessary that two questions comes from the same chapter. This is just a probability that it may come to know briefly about how using probability method you can predict which question comes for the next degree examination. Click the i button and watch my syllabus video. There you will get a solution and idea about which question gonna come for the next degree examination. So let's back to the our topic. So our second chapter is tissue which carries same seven marks. Major topics to study in this unit are human cell, cell organelles, cell structure and sometimes cell cycle. This all we gonna discuss in the later video. So our second unit is skeletal system which has four chapters bones, joints, ligaments and tendons. Where bone chapter carries seven marks because one question comes for the five marks, one question comes for the five marks and two questions comes for the two marks. Joints chapter carries 17 marks because one question may come for the 10 marks and one question for 5 marks and one question for 2 marks. It is a probability that it may come for the 10 marks. Most of the time it comes only for 5 marks. Okay. And our third unit is muscular system which has 4 chapters bones, muscles, ligaments, tendons and soft tissue. Each muscle chapter carries 7 marks in which one question comes for the 5 marks and one question for and the 2 marks. our fourth unit is nervous system which has 4 chapters sent central nervous system, brain, spinal cord and nerves. Major questions comes from this unit. This is a very important unit because most of the questions comes from this unit. So let's discuss it briefly. So our first chapter is central nervous system which, which carries 17 marks where one question comes for 10 marks, one question comes for 5 marks, one question for 2 marks. And our brain chapter carries 7 marks, 1 question for 5 marks and 1 question for 2 marks. Spinal cord carries, spinal cord chapter carries 7 marks, 1 question for 5 marks and 1 question for 2 marks. And nerves chapter also carries same type of marks distribution. So, so let's jump to the 5th unit and our 5th unit is sensory system which has 5, which has five chapters namely ear, eye, nose, tongue, skin. Where ear chapter carries 7 marks and eye carries 7 marks, 1 question for 5 marks and 1 question for 2 marks. Same type of marks distribution. So let's jump to the 6th unit. 6th unit is circulatory and lymphatic system which has 4 chapters heart, blood vessel, blood, spleen. spleen. This is also second most important unit. So our first chapter is heart which carries 12 marks, 1 question for 10 marks and 1 question for 2 marks where blood vessel and blood chapter carries Two, 2 marks each and spleen chapter carries 12 marks because one question may come from because one question may come for 10 marks and, and one question for 5 marks unit 8 digestive system which has 8 chapters in it namely stomach small intestine large intestine esophagus mouth salivary gland and pharynx liver and pancreas where stomach small intestine stomach large intestine small intestine esophagus carries same 12 marks for each for each chapter one question for 10 marks and one question for 5 marks so most chapter carries 7 marks one question for 5 marks and one question for 2 marks and salivary glands and 
salivary glands and pharynx chapters also carries same marks distribution that 12 marks same marks distribution where one question for 10 marks and one question for 2 marks and whereas liver and pancreas chapter carries 17 marks one question for 10 marks and one question for 5 marks and one question for 2 marks and our next unit is excretory system which has four chapters kidneys ureters urinary bladder urethra and question where kidney chapter carries 9 marks one question for 5 marks and two question for 2 marks where ureters also carries same marks distribution where urinary bladder carries 7 marks one question for 5 marks and one question for 2 marks where ureter also carries same marks distribution as of urinary bladder so so our next unit is unit 10 endocrine system which has four chapters pituitary gland hypothalamus thyroid gland parathyroid gland adrenal gland and pineal gland and pancreatic has slides where pituitary gland and hypothalamus chapter carries nine marks one question for five marks one question for two marks and two question for two marks and thyroid gland carries nine 19 marks one question for 10 marks one question for five marks and two question for two marks thyroid gland carries thyroid gland carries seven marks where one question for five marks one question for two marks adrenal and pancreatic has like chapter carries same marks distribution as of thyroid gland and our last unit is reproductive system with this which has three chapters male reproductive system and female reproductive system and breast where male and female reproductive system chapter carries 17 marks one question for 10 marks and one question for 5 marks and one question for 2 marks and breast chapter has 7 marks one question for 5 marks and one question for 2 marks so that's all about the blueprint and syllabus of here we have blueprint of anatomy subject syllabus to download this blueprint please check the description below to get the link